welcome to roboin today we are demonstrating a project which is based on node mcu the node mcu it's a iot board and it's a very low cost open source iot platform it's including firmware and prototype board design both are open source so in this project we are using node mcu iot board our application basically our application is wifi uh, robotics car using this iot board so before uh, directly going to hard finalizing hardware i am making this circuit on breadboard so today we are demonstrating it so see this is in the small breadboard here i have placed node mcu and the the second chip this one you can see is the l293 this is the motor driver uh in this project i'm using 5 volt dc motor 9 volt battery and here are some jumping wires so let's start with it this one is the l293 d schematic diagram so i'll start with this one first this one you can uh, download from our website also www.roboin.in and you can easily find so now we'll start with this one as you can see here that two motors are connected motor m1 and m2 for uh, prototyping i am using just one motor and uh, in the next stage when i'll make the final hardware then we'll use the two motors so for uh, current situation i'm using only left one this m1 motor so let's start with pin number 1 and uh, pin number 1 is connected with pin number 16 and 9 so this one is supply voltage vcc so let's start with this one pin number 1 with 16 and pin number 16 with pin number 9 now 4 and 5 pin number 4 5 12 14 are shorted with ground pin so 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 12 12 13 9 10 11 12 13 12 and 13 so this one is shorted with the ground pin so i'm connecting with the ground pin as you know this this one is this blue one this blue one is the ground line minus and this red one is the positive so i am making the connection over here this one is ground and these two slots in this breadboard are short so now i make pin number 4 5 12 14 14 to ground this one is i have complete pin number 4 5 12 and this one is actually it should be it must be 13 it's a printing mistake and uh, now i'm giving the uh, input pin number 2 and pin number 7 this will be my input pin number 2 which will be going to node mcu this one is pin number 7 so here i am using pin number 2 will connect with the d7 d7 here you can see d7 is this side d7 and d8 
this is the pin diagram of node mcu this will also you can download from our website www.roboin.in um, so i'm connecting motor input to d7 and d8 that is gpio 13 and gpio 15 d7 and the second one goes to d8 now again back to l293 connection now we have to connect motor between pin number 3 to 6 so this is my motor connection this is my motor connection it will go to pin number 3 of l293d and 7 is input and 6 is output which goes to second terminal of motor now the pin number 16 which I have to give supply from node MCU this one I am connecting with the 3.3 .3 voltage that is 3.3 .3 voltage so here I am connecting ground of node MCU with L293D so this is the connection now uh, we have to connect V in we have to connect this battery to node MCU also and L293D also so before doing this uh, I will program node MCU this one is my program this is our program and uh, the basic details are given over here uh, see here input I am taking GPIO 15 I have written over here if your GPIO is free then you can uh, select different GPIO I have selected pin number 13 and pin number 40, 15 for my node MC so this one is the program this program also you can download from our website the program is given uh, see in tools first of all from library from tools from library you have to install node mcu library once you install node mcu library you will be able to see this node mcu module esp 12 module in the board manager you can see this one is see this is node mcu esp 12 e module we are using here 12 e module so select this one and of course you have to select port Port here is COM3. I'll just program, upload the program. See, it's compiling. Uploading. It's uploading. So the program is being uploading it's done uploading as you can see it's done uploading now I'll disconnect the USB now we have to connect 
again we will go to the schematic of file 293 d this 3.3 .3 volt I am giving to six, pin number 16 of L293 D ground has been already connected now I will connect this battery ground This one I'm giving the positive. So this one is my connection. As you can see, the connection is completed. Okay, so now I'm showing you the software application that also you can download from our website. see in this list you have node MCU so you have to select this one one app is there it's showing a Wi-Fi IP 192 see the motor is working rotating this one is in different direction So this one uh, we have done testing with the node MCU. Now in the second stage, we'll make the final hard final hardware on PCB, and uh, we'll show you the we'll show you the actual robotic car project. Thank you for watching. Successful testing on breadboard. We have made, uh, put the breadboard on motor chassis. Now we will test with our Wi Fi application. So as you can see the motor is car is moving forward backward the application is working absolutely fine thank you for watching